What's up everybody? Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net. And I was thinking of my next video and I said to myself, geez, I got a little bit of a problem and I forgot to show you something I wanted to show you. So this video is gonna all be all about coupes, Cadillac Fleetwood Brome coupes. Uh, now, if you remember a couple weeks ago, I had purchased this 1980 Fleetwood Brome Coupe de Elegance uh, after being separated with it for like 15 years it came back into my life and I was super excited. Well, now I have a dilemma. Before I get into my dilemma, I wanna show you just how nice this car cleaned up and with minimal effort. I, I had to do a little few mechanical things. Um, it, the car, we, we got it back. If you didn't see my video, it's been sitting in a garage uh, from a customer of mine who I had met about 15 years ago when I was selling Cadillac parts. Uh, anyways, the car came back into my life. I had an opportunity to buy it and I bought it. Um, when we towed the car here, uh, we had to put a fuel pump in it. We put a fuel pump, new mechanical fuel pump. It's a 1980 with the big block under the hood. Put a new mechanical fuel pump in it. I washed it, gave it a nice wash, clay bar, wax. Didn't go too, too crazy. And then I drove it, really. I pumped up the tires. Uh, we changed the oil. And I drove the car. And I think I've probably put 150 miles or so on this car. Um, the white walls cleaned up nicely. Surprising for their age. They, uh, they're actually still round. But I've put maybe 326 miles. I think that might have been reset when I got it. It's got 49,171 miles on it now. And this is a 1980 Fleetwood Brome Coupe de Elegance in a beautiful azure blue. Now, <sighs> here's my problem. When it rains, it pours. I wanted, after selling my triple white Fleetwood Brome Coupe, I wanted to find myself for my own personal collection, either a 1980 with the big block or an 80 to 85 D Elegance with a sunroof. So this car came into my life after I had uh, beat Ryan by this car. Now this car is here doing some work for him. He's on his way up. We're gonna replace the tires on the car, the brand new white walls. I fixed a trunk pull-down motor. We've been doing a little things here and there, getting the car ready for him. This is his triple black 1980 Fleetwood Brome Coupe de Elegance. He bought this. This then appeared into my life. I said, you know what? I'm going to go for this. So now my buddy's got a coupe. I got a coupe. Well, here's my problem. About a week after buying this coupe, I got a referral from a good friend of mine who's also a Cadillac collector about a coupe that he was offered. And he passed on it and offered it to me, which is astounding in and of itself because the car is so beautiful. And, uh, you know, he's kind of my inspiration. He's a high-end Cadillac collector, loves these 80s cars. But he passed it on to me because he said he had no space. And that's usually my excuse. But I always listen, and I didn't have the space. Honestly, probably at the time, didn't really have the money. But I made it work, and then I had another one appear. And the car that appeared is not this 91 Coupe de Ville Spring Edition. It's this. This is a 1985 Fleetwood Brome Coupe de Elegance. Last year that they produced these cars, obviously 85, it's 4,100 powered. So the difference between the two is really the, the drivetrain. But this car is a 21,000 mile car in an absolute gorgeous color combination. Uh, this color is called Cranberry Fire Mist. You get up close to it, I'll bring it out into the sun. It's kind of got like a purplish, I don't know, maybe like a, I don't know, I think corally color to it. It's absolutely gorgeous, 21,000 mile car. But you want to see the best part? Factory Astro Roof. Beautiful matching vinyl top. Uh, rear fillers are starting to get a little dry. 21,000 mile car. So this car <laughs> was offered to me. And I said to myself, oh God, now what am I going to do? I wanted the blue one and I, I still do. I, I, that blue car, I have a connection with that car. I wanted it when I was in high school. I'm glad I didn't have it when I was in high school because if I had it in high school and had it all these years, I probably would have destroyed it. But now that I'm 33 years old and I have my business and I you know, do this you know, professionally, I can collect cars 
and take care of them and not be a kid in high school with a cool old Cadillac, you know, just bombing around in it. And now I have this thing behind me here. And this is the other coupe that I wanted if I couldn't find an 80. It's an 85 D Elegance, beautiful color with a factory Astro roof, 21,000 miles. Now I really don't care about 4100s versus the big blocks. I mean, it's a really great uh, upsell. The big block, you can tell the difference. I've put pleasure miles on that car, took my dad out to Boston, my nephew went to a couple car shows with it. Um, I really enjoyed that car and I still am and I, I still do. Um, but I've put 300 miles on it or so. So I'm getting ready to probably put it in the corner, cover it up and pull another one of my toys out. Now I have this car here and I don't know what to do. And this is probably a silly thing to be saying like, now what, you know, wh which car do I keep? Which car do I sell? Do I sell any of them? That's my other problem. I, I have the ability to keep <laughs> this car too i don't know but on top of that i have coupes other coupes and the other coupes that i've had i've been holding on to for a long time before i show you that car in depth i'm going to go show you the other coupes um and then we'll come back out we're going to get this thing out into the sunlight this is a coupe that i just got in from a local subscriber this is a 1991 cadillac coupe de ville spring edition uh, and this is a super nice car this car is going to be up for sale uh, that's one thing I will say is I don't really collect front wheel drives. So this one, as beautiful as this car is, it's not really my collector style. Um, I'm into the rear wheel drives, but I'm very excited to have this car. It's a 30,000 mile car, beautiful white leather seats, uh, absolutely gorgeous interior, uh, super clean with the red carpet and dash. Spring editions have the body colored door handles, the full cabriolet top, the special. Uh, there's always that one guy. The special uh, alloy wheels, the gold ornamentation, and usually they were in a triple whatever color, whether it was triple white, triple burgundy. Um, I think they've been, they made them in blue as well. Uh, so that car is going to be coming up for sale soon. Going to go through and service this car at 30,000 miles still has the original Michelin tires. So this is where my hoarding gets kind of out of line. Um, I don't think I ever did a video of this car, but before I bought that blue 1980 Fleetwood Brougham Coupe, the one I just showed you, I've had one kind of sitting in the back burner. It's kind of just simmering on that back burner. And it's been sitting here since I think November is when I bought this car. And this car is almost a near identical twin to that car. It's a 1980 Fleetwood Brougham Coupe in a Zur blue, and it has blue crushed velour interior. The only difference is this car is not a de-elegance. It's just regular crushed blue velour, uh, but in super nice shape. Needs a few little things, which I have door panel armrests, needs a headliner, needs to be cleaned up. I've been kind of holding on to this because this was gonna be like that 1980 that replaced the one that I wanted, and this was it, until that car came along. So it's been sitting in the corner here, as you can see, collecting dust. Um, she needs some love. The car has been off the road for a while. It starts, it runs nice. Tires are square. Obviously it needs fillers. And you can see it's kind of just tucks itself into the corner here. <laughs> and stuff has been amassed around it. I got the plow for my truck, my carpet extractor and stuff like that. But it's a very nice car. Now one of the things that this car needs, and I feel that I should, get because it would do the car justice obviously the filler panels but the car really could use a paint job majority of the paint on the car is nice it had a repaint a long time ago i would say in the 80s and i want to say that it was done with like an enamel paint and you can see spots here where it's just starting to lift uh where it's worn down you know it's kind of a little dull on the top surfaces it's worn down here um you know so there's been some paint work done to the car, not collision work or restoration, just probably freshened the car up in the 80s. Uh, so this car has been sitting here. This is a 1980. Uh, I, I don't know what to do with it now. Now this one is the one that has to go away, but what do I do? Do I fix this one up? Do I put fillers in it? Do a paint job? Or do I sell this car the way it is now that I have this one? But wait, there's more. I have this. Coupe de Ville, 
This is a 1983 uh, Coupe de Ville. This car's got 4,000 original miles on it. Uh, I obviously, I can't really show it to you in depth, but it's a 4,000 mile car. It's kind of like a, I don't know, it's a funny looking like brown. I don't know what even color it is. It's got a brown half top or a quarter vinyl top with a beautiful brown leather interior. That car was a local car. And up until the original owner passed away, I think 2014 or 2015, this car was still on its original certificate of manufacture. It was never titled. I've had the car sitting around for so long because it sat around for so long. It's needed a little bit of love, a little bit of TLC. It needs fillers, it needs a headliner. Actually, no, I think I did a headliner in it. But it needs love. Um, and I just, I didn't know what to do with it. It's not that I was keeping it because I wanted to collect it. It's just, it was a cool car, cool story behind it. And I've just put it up in the rafters and I've forgotten about it. But now I'm out of space where I have to find space for this car to stay inside, which it's been, but out of my way inside. And I don't have a lot of space left. So I have cars stuffed in every orifice of this I want to keep this car. I really love this blue coupe. Um... <laughs> Now I got the pink one outside, or the one I call pink. I just, I'm kind of, I'm torn. What do I do here? I'm willing to sell and give up the whisper quiet. This car just runs so nice. I'll take it for a little spin down the road. Now I still got stuff to do to this. It needs a heated core still, uh, which is not uncommon. Uh, the air conditioning doesn't work. The radio is kind of wonky. Uh, but let's take this thing for a spin. She's got power. That's what I like about this car. And it's even got this little guy here, which I think is so cool. It's a fuel economy reminder. It tells you when you're getting good or your car is in eco mode. And then you gas it and it goes away into the, the orange. Uh, but this car was, has been such a pleasure to own and drive. I really enjoy this car. So when I got this car, I knew, I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to let go of that other 80 coupe because there's definitely no need for me to keep that car still. And it's near on a twin to this car. But this is a D-Elegance, a little bit nicer of a car, a lot nicer of a car. Though it obviously doesn't need fillers or a paint job. Um, so I already kind of had in my mind, I'm going to get rid of that coupe, that blue coupe that I just showed you. But my question is, and this is kind of what I'm having a hard time with, should I spend the money, strip the car down, spend the money, have the car painted, do a nice base clear on the car, put new fillers on it, and sell it as a 58,000 mile, completely dialed in Fleetwood Brome Coupe, or do I sell it as a potential project? My only fear with selling it as a potential project that needs paint and fillers is it gets into the wrong hands. So I'm kind of torn on what to do with this that other coupe. This car, I really love. It's got the big block in it. But let's go take a look at that Cranberry Fire Mist car. All right, let's jump in this one. And I'm going to bring this out into the sunlight because you really got to see this paint. Uh, the color doesn't even... Uh, the camera doesn't do this car justice in the shade. You can see your 21,533 original miles. This car has a whisper quiet HT4100. And I know a lot of people are going to still knock me in the comments. Oh, you're nuts to even consider keeping a 4100. But really, an 85 4100 um, is a different animal than like an 82 4100. Because by 85, they've definitely bettered the engines. Um, they know the weak points. They, they Cadillac did better these engines. I'm not a 4100 expert, but honestly, they really don't scare me. Uh, here we go. Obviously, now I haven't done anything to tune this up. It doesn't have the power that the, the, big, blick, uh, <laughs> the big block has, but she still cruises nicely, goes down the road nicely. I mean, this car, this car has got Goodyear polysteel tires on it. I'm not sure if they're original or not. Let me know in the comments. But it's just, for a car that's been sitting for so long, I guess I should probably fill you in with the history of this car. 
I had bought this car from the son of the second owner. The second owner bought this car in 1988 with 20,500 miles on it. When he bought this car, he even kept the original clipping of the um, newspaper ad that this car was advertised. And in 1988, the person who had this car, well, that's a little bit of a problem. We just stalled. I don't know if this thing is out of gas. The gas gauge shows fuel. Ah, here I am praising this car. It wants to run. I don't know what's going on. Time to get a call into Papa Bear, though. Well, this is what I deal with when I buy old cars. This car ran and drove beautiful off the truck, onto the truck. I'm not sure if it's out of gas. I'm not sure what's going on, but she stalled. But I guess I can show you how nice the paint is. Like I said, this color, I've never seen this color before. It's um, cranberry fire mist. I don't know if it was a 1985 only color. I mean, it is covered in dust. Uh, I was sitting in a garage and I haven't even washed this car yet, but you can just tell the chrome is phenomenal. Um, you know, this car is just on point with a lot of originality. The front fillers had been replaced, um, vinyl top, like I said, is in absolutely beautiful condition. Rear fillers do need to be replaced. You can see they're starting to give way here. They're a little dried out, but the chrome is absolutely beautiful. You can see here the color and all the trunk locks are beautiful. You know, dusty, but a nice detail. Ceramic coat, paint correction, all that good stuff. And just look at this color. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And it has a factory sunroof. Beautiful interior, you know, all the trim, the seats are in phenomenal shape and it has a factory Astro roof. Now the thing that I absolutely adore about cars with factory Astro roofs is how big these sunroofs really are. It's hot out today. It's really like driving a convertible. The Astro roofs that they put in these cars are just absolutely, oh, there's Papa Bear coming to save me. It's absolutely huge in these cars. Well, that's not how I wanted to show you how nice this car was, but. Well, let's see if it was gas. Fuel pump. Awesome. Well, that just confirms that right there. Fuel pump died. Oh, go figure, right? I guess it happened at the perfect time. Papa Bear was here, strap in hand, ready to pick me up. But I absolutely love this color combination as well. And I love the fact that this car has a factory Astro roof. Um, let me pop the trunk show you what it has going on back here just some spare parts i think inside here i guess it's nothing just an old chest i don't know what this is here
weather strip. I have to figure out what that goes to. Some odd little knickknacks. Huh. Ironically. That is definitely the old fuel pump. So that tells me that this fuel pump has been replaced before, but the new sock, this is an old box. So I'm gonna say that that pump has been changed a long time ago. So the history with this particular car is the, I think I started mentioning it before it died, was the second owner had bought this car in 1988 as an investment. He was a farmer, didn't like investing money into the stock market. And apparently he bought cars and he bought Rolex watches and tractors and all that kind of stuff to invest in, hoping that went up in value. In 1988, when he bought this car, it had 20,500 miles. From 88 until now, he only put 1,000 miles on the car. Um, I have the original clipping of when this car was bought, uh, the original newspaper clipping. And he paid in 1988 $16,000 for that car. And this car was an Illinois car. It was sold out of uh, Lakeshore Cadillac um, in Illinois. It's got all the owner's manual. Actually, oh, oh, look at those babies. Nice unused gold keys. And then here's the coupe, the Fleetwood Brougham Coupe, an elegant two-door classic in Fleetwood Brougham tradition. And the neat, neat, neat part is, is this car came with its original window sticker. So Lakeshore Cadillac was the original selling dealer, 1985 Fleetwood Brougham Coupe. Last year, this car was produced. Uh, we have, kind of hard to read, but we have power recliner, trunk something, door edge guards too, Astro roof. I can't read the entire number, but it was a, at least $1,000. Rear window defrogger, vanity mirrors, steering wheel disc locking, yada, 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 all little stuff. The elegance was $18.45, and then Fire Mist exterior color, $240. Cranberry Fire Mist, Cranberry Metallic, and Dark Claret, Clar, Claret Leather Interior. Total price for this car, brand new, 1985 money, $26,800. So here I am. I don't know what to do. I have cars coming out of every orifice. I started my... Uh, as is summer special and that's so far kicked off good that town car by the time you saw see this video um, I can let you know that that town car is long gone. It sold uh, a few hours after I posted it um, I have a lot of nice stuff coming in and that's why I was getting rid of some of that stuff But when I collect stuff like this, it takes up my precious space and time. No car guy problems, I guess anyways I'll give you a quick recap of also what I have incoming. I got a lot of nice stuff incoming, and that's why I'm having my yard sale. Uh, what do I have coming in? I have a 2008 Cadillac STS. I haven't had one of those in, since when I used to work at the other dealership. 23,000 mile car. Um, I have a beautifully dressed up 2005 Lincoln Town car. Vinyl top, chrome wheels, two-tone paint. Um, Gorgeous car, 55,000 mile car. That's coming in from Kentucky. The STS is coming in from Montana. Uh, I have a 1993 Fleetwood Brome. I don't know if you guys saw the video on Big Al's channel. If not, I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, he went and picked up my 93 Fleetwood down in Naples, Florida uh, from a customer I sold it to a year ago. He's relocating and sold it back to me. I was happy to get that car back. A 93 Fleetwood Brome with now 22,000 miles. Um, and I know I'm missing something else. I don't know. I got cars. That... Anyways, I have coupe problems. I don't know what to do. Let me know what you think down in the comments of my coupe catastrophe. Guess I got to put a fuel pump in this one just like I did in the other one. Although this one is electric in the tank. A little different than the other one. Thanks everybody for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Definitely uh, hit that like button. Gives me a little boost up. We'll talk to you on the next one.